All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to Bladebridge Converter Demo. In this demo, I will showcase how, uh, how Bladebridge Converter can convert code from Informatica Cloud to PySpark. Uh, this is a demo job that I created. It has several types of components, such as sources, expressions, joiners, aggregates, uh, lookups, unions, and so on. Uh, and there are expressions embedded in the code, and I will show how Bladebridge can parse those expressions and, and produce PySpark code that uh, replicates the logic of Informatica Cloud code. Uh, Bladebridge converters are typically command line utilities, so I'm going to go to my command line. And the particular utility that is going to convert the code from Informatica Cloud to PySpark is called InfoCloud to any.exe. There's a Linux distribution available uh, for this utility as well. Now, the reason why it's called InfoCloud to any as opposed to InfoCloud to PySpark is because the way Bladebridge manufactures uh, converter modules is that the readers and writers work independently and in the middle there's, a, there's an agnostic layer that is responsible for translating the specifications from source metadata to target metadata. Um, and, and the reason it's called to any is because one of the switches on the command line specifies the type of technology we want to generate out of this converter. So this executable actually acts as a glue that uh, ties the source writer, uh, source reader, which is InfoCloud, to the supported code generators. Uh, the currently supported module is SpicePark. The SQL is there for, for uh, it's reserved for, for the future. So in order for me to run the converter, I need to provide the license key file, a a file containing Informatica cloud mapping minus D, uh, or, or I can provide minus D option that will point the converted to a, a source folder containing uh, several Informatica files, or it could be an entire project. Minus O is the folder where my output is going to go, my PySpark code, uh, the module, the, the language that I want to generate. And very important switch here is minus U which which provides additional specifications to the converter in order to customize the generated code. The reason why we provide that, and as a rule, we allow the converter to externalize uh, the majority of the specifications is because every customer and every enterprise will have their own requirements as far as the st st style of code, uh, style of comments perhaps, exception handling, sourcing, and target and targeting and target writing logic, and so on. So for that reason, Converter will allow you to inject your own uh, your own conversion specifications or overwrite some of the existing specifications that the Converter comes with. And I'll dive into this file in a few minutes after I run the Converter. So in order for me to run the Converter, I'll just execute the command line where I provide all the necessary arguments, such as the, the license file key, uh, the input file name, which is my zip file, the output folder, uh, the type of the code I want to generate, and the configuration file name. Uh, before I generate the code, just want to show you what I'm converting. This is the file that I'm going to grab and I'm going to generate the code into this folder. So currently, I just have a couple of runtime files in here in case I want to unit test the converted code. So I hit Enter, and the converter typically takes a, a few seconds to generate the code. So this is the newly generated file. And if I open it up, you'll see a PySpark code. Now, the sourcing logic was customized. That's why. The, the sources are based on the arrays provided by the outside framework. So this is allowed in case you want to utilize your own 
frame, framework for standardizing reading and writing. Otherwise, the converter will plug in its own methods of attaching to the source, for example, using um, JDBC driver and reading data from there. Uh, the way the converter works is it traverses every node in the mapping and replicates the functionality of it, and it creates data frames along the way. So for example, this, this is a data frame, and here we have some of the logic that replicates what Informatica has. Every component is annotated with a, with a, uh, with a type and, and the name. Also, for debugging purposes, we provide the count of columns that appear in every component. Uh, so the converter basically sort of traces the lineage from source to target and plugs in all the transformations along the way. Okay, let me just scroll down to the bottom. It provides an exception handling logic as well, which you can override. It, um, it preserves um, Python compatible uh, indentation as well. You can plug in your own header as well as the footer. Uh, and this is where the configuration file comes in handy. So in my configuration file, I can specify what my header should look like, my footer, what my commenting lines should look like. So for example, processing node and then name of the node, type of the node, column count, this is the template that the converter will use to generate these comment lines. So this is how the converter auto comments the, the nodes. You can also provide some overrides or perhaps um, include or exclude certain patterns from uh, PySpark specific um, conventions such, such as this. You can also tell the converter how to wrap your code so the converter can wrap your entire body of code that it generates uh, into the try and accept log based provide exception handling. Uh, you can tell the converter how to convert function calls. Right here I have function translation um, mappings. Uh, I can do something even more sophisticated. I can tell the converter to take any function and swap around arguments if I want. So that, that, that is allowed as well. So basically this file contains a lot of configurations that you can, um, th that you can use and enhance upon. You can also just take this file and inherit from it and create your own configuration file. That is allowed as well. So just to recap, the converter read this mapping, it traversed the entire tree and replicated each node with an equivalent data frame functionality in PySpark, producing this code in a matter of seconds. Uh, this code is unit testable. Um, if, if there's a framework, the client can just run this, um, uh, this, this file and um, get the results out of it. So this con concludes today's session of um, demonstrating Informatica Cloud to PySpark conversion. Thank you for joining.